Sounds great. That's the one. Right there. American woman. Yep. Our uh, next guest is a, uh, a, a very funny gentleman, and on uh, August uh, 2nd, uh, he'll be performing at the Mont Bleu Casino in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Please welcome Larry Bubbles Brown. Larry, come on out and... Well, calm down, Mr. Fun's here. I know what you're all thinking. It looks like Rain Man and E.T. had a baby. <laughs> Boy, it just keeps getting better. Someone stole my identity. Now he has no life. <laughs> I tried to donate my body to science. They said, try Goodwill. Finances are in shambles. I dropped out of college thinking wiffle ball was going pro. <laughs> you know things are bad when you're trying to uh, get on jury duty for the cash. That's uh, not a good sign. $12 a day, pick me. <sighs> <sighs> Professional people are killing me. I'm getting my physical. My doctor says, I need a list of all the women you've had sex with. Oh, man, do I have a disease? He goes, no, but if you get him in bed, I know I can. <laughs> Should I practice safe sex? He goes, if I were you, I'd take what I could get. <laughs> Told him I wanted to die with dignity. He gave me a tie. He got me so depressed, I went next door to the therapist. She listened for five minutes, said, Larry, maybe life isn't for everyone. <laughs> uh. Well, if you're depressed, I can put you on Prozac, but I gotta warn you, it's gonna slow down your sex drive. Well. <laughs> slow down my sex drive? That's like putting a leash in a turtle. Give me the pill. <laughs> Then I'm talking to this Lori. He goes, do you have a will? I said, to live? <laughs> no, you gotta have a will. Do you want your relatives fighting over your possessions? Yeah, the 84 Fiero with the Dukakis for President bumper sticker? <laughs> I sense a lot of appeals on that one. All my friends are married. They say, you gotta get married. Do you wanna die alone? No, I wanna take you with me. <laughs> well, do you know what it's like to be married? I think so, because once I sat in a bear trap. <laughs> Gays are getting married. Haven't they suffered enough? You can get mail-order brides in this day and age. Mail-order brides, my luck, she'd choke on the styrofoam packing. <laughs> Return to sender. <laughs> now, you should get married, because when you get older, your kids will take care of you. Does that ever happen? I'll be 90 in my wheelchair. The kids will be standing over me. What's the pin number? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the money, old man? <laughs> Thank you. I'll get that <laughs> You should get a tax break for not having children. They pay farmers not to grow stuff. <laughs> now we're cloning human beings. That's like counterfeiting pennies. <laughs> I like kids, though. I used to think I was a gifted child because my parents kept me in a box.
Well, summer's here, and like you, my thoughts turn to death. <laughs> Wouldn't it be neat if you knew what day you were gonna die, but not the year? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Politics, man, I finally figured politics out. An oil man became president, and an oil man, and gas went to four fifty a gallon. Yeah. I hope we never elect a pimp. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you.